Hey everybody, so I was on the hunt for an incubator. I was planning to do some projects at home uh, with microbiology, but this video is intended for anybody else who maybe couldn't find a cheap incubator on eBay or was just wondering what a really cheap incubator build might look like. The only thing I did have to go out and find for myself was a styrofoam container, which I'll basically be using as the incubator and um, buying all these bits and bobs here. So basically all up, this cost me about $38 USD. To control the temperature, you're gonna need something that has the ability to both monitor the temperature and cycle a relay to power a heater or cooler in some cases. Uh, this device can handle about 12 volts and put out 120 watts when commanded. The temperature probe is about half a meter long, so plenty of room to place it in an incubator somewhere. The red and black pair of wires are the input and your yellow and black wires will be the power for your heater. Speaking of, we're using a 100 watt PTC fan heater. It has four sets of wires, two for the fan, two for the heater itself, made up of two heating elements. Benefit of using this over other heaters like heating pads or mats is that it has a fan, uh, which will help distribute the heat around the incubator quite nicely. Um, and to power all this, we have 12 volt, 10 amp power supply, giving us 120 watts, which is what the temp controller can handle and plenty for the heater fan combo. Connecting everything together is easy using these male, female, DC, BNC connectors. Uh, you're going to need a screwdriver, but it's pretty straightforward. You have these screws that will tighten up or loosen a little metal jaw uh, in the back of the connector where your wires are going to go. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just match up your wire with the right symbol on the back of the connector, uh, loosen the screw, put the wire in, tighten the screw, and that's it. You're basically done and last but not least tape so basically as a nursery rhyme goes never diy without tape nearby so getting stuck into it uh, the great thing about this build is that it can be adapted to pretty much any type or size container as long as it's insulated uh, i'm using styrofoam here but you could use like a proper store-bought esky you could use a cooler an old fridge you get the idea i'm having to pass all the wires from the front to the inside of the incubator um, basically I want my incubator to sit up high so I'm putting the container uh, excuse me the controller and the fan on the inside of the lid and hinging the lid with duct tape so that it swings towards me and up when I open it uh, so I can get to my cultures now if you're paying attention you might have actually noticed that I do have Arduinos and other microcontrollers sitting around my bench I also have relays so I basically have everything I need already to have made an incubator, but I was really interested in seeing how cheap I could actually build an incubator for. And so at $38, this actually comes in uh, pretty under what it might cost to actually buy something like an Arduino, uh, relays, the tools needed, maybe some strippers, a soldering iron, um, all that kind of stuff. So the goal here was to just come up with something that was almost plug and play. Uh, minus obviously the connectors and the duct tape. And for those of you that have never worked with electronics before or wires or anything like that, just be sure to connect your colored wire to the positive symbol. So that might be red or yellow and your black wire to the negative symbol. You'll also notice uh, that the fan, I'm actually putting both black wires in one of the negative areas and both red uh, wires in one of the positive areas. So that's basically it. Uh, it's a pretty quick build. It take, took me about maybe 10 minutes to put it all together. Uh, I used up plenty of tape. Uh, I've got the heat sensor 
sitting in the middle of the incubator, so it's kind of in a nice spot, not right close to the heater, not too close to the top where the heat's gonna go, but towards the middle, which I think is a good spot. Um, this is a real-time kind of estimation or uh, display of how long it takes for this to actually heat up. I'm planning on making some more videos in the future. I'm looking at making an OD600 to do optical density measurements for bacteria cultures and other cultures. And I'll be just testing this and keeping an eye on it. You'll know if it's still working and if it's safe to use because I will make a video sometime in the future. And if I don't, then the house is probably burnt down. But fingers crossed. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned.